Hello everyone, I am Akash. Today we will discuss about the disjoint set data structure. It is also known as the union find. So what is a DSU? So DSU is basically a data structure which helps in keeping a track of all the elements which are partitioned into a set of non-overlapping subsets. So to simplify all this, suppose we have an array with indexes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Suppose we need to merge certain indexes. Suppose we need to merge 0 and 2. And then we need to merge 1 and 5. And then again we need to merge 2 and 3. Okay. Suppose we need to do these kind of operations. Also, after the end of all these merge operations, we need to find the parent of 4. Find parent of 4 find parent of 3 so the parent is the representative of that component suppose when when we have merged 0 and 2 0 can be declared as the parent now we are merging 1 and 5 so here a 1 can be declared as the parent now when we are merging 2 and 3 the parent of 3 would be 0 uh, so this can be arbitrarily assigned or sometimes we assign the parent which have the least the lowest index or this can also depend on the union by rank algorithm that we will discuss later so now let's discuss on the implementation part of dsu how do we implement dsu so the most common way of implementing dsu is through an array we call it the parent array so this parent array consists of the track of all the parents of a particular index suppose we have an array it has indexes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So initially, all the indexes will have values equal to themselves as, as all the indexes are their own parent. I am denoting flag as uh, the parent. So initially, all of them are parents because we haven't performed any merge operations. Suppose now we start performing merge operations. So now if we merge index 0 with 4, 0 with 6 and 6 with 5 okay and also 1 with say 2 suppose we have these 4 merge, merge operations now we are merging 0 and 4 0 and 6 and also 6 and 5 okay and now I am merging 1 and 2 okay so uh, the so the group one is element zero four six and five while group two is elements one and two okay so these are the two groups formed so this was the merge operation so we have talked about the merge function in the dsu now we need to find or talk about the find parent function so we need to talk about the find parent in the DSU so as previously stated let us define an array to represent the parent of the DSU suppose we have a DSU which is represented by the index 0 1 2 3 and 4 so as stated before initially all those elements represent themselves so they are the parent of themselves okay after certain operations suppose we did certain operations and we change the parent suppose these two parent chains and now 0 and 1 so what we can infer from this array is that 0 component 0 and 2 are connected and while components 1 and 3 are connected and also 4 is the only single component left so this is the parent, this is the parent and this is the parent. I am considering the elements with the least index in the as a parent. Uh, but a point to rem remember is that uh, uh, by union by rank algorithm, the parent can differ. Uh, the indexes which have a higher index value can also act as a parent. So how to find parent of an index? So we can easily write a recursive structure to find the parent. Suppose we need to find the parent of an index say x so what we need to do is 
we we need to check if uh, the index or the node is the parent of itself or not suppose if uh, uh, the node x contains the value x in the array then it's the parent of itself it represents uh, the node so if dsu of x we can simply return x but now we need to now recursively calculate the parent suppose we have queried find parent of 3 so first we will go to the parent of 3 uh, here it's 1 so we will now go and check to 1 and now 1 is the parent of itself so we will return 1 so now the parent of 3 is 1 so now we can assign dsu of x and return this value to be find parent of tsu of x so this will recursively calculate the value of parent and also update the array this is called path compression so now let's consider the implementation of the dsu so we need to implement basically two functions find parent and the second one is merge two nodes and you need to find parent of a single node okay so the merging also contains a thing it's known as path compression so what it does is suppose you are allocating there is a chain of connected components in, in the same component suppose all these are connected and as it's connected their parents would be the same but now suppose the value of the zero is not propagated here suppose this points towards suppose this is a node 0 1 2 3 and 4 suppose this points to node 3 only and 3 points to node 0 so there is a bit of lag the ultimate parent of 4 is 0 but we we will go from 4 to 3 and then from 3 to 0 so what um, this part compression technique does is um, when we query find parent of a node so after recursively finding the parent it updates this so after recursively finding the parent uh, this the, the value 3 here would be updated and uh, the main value of parent is uh, like uh, noted here so now let's go to the coding part of dsu okay so i would implement my class here uh, yeah this is my class and basically dsu is an array so i will declare an array and i would also declare the size that that would be the size of dsu so i am also declaring a constructor here that would take parameters and integer and also we would initialize the array and also the dsu array so as i said that initially all the elements of the dsu would be equal to themselves only so i would run a loop and uh, identify the base case here so so this is the base case uh this is the error this is the base case okay so now when we have defined the constructor we can uh, implement two functions one find parent and parent this is a find parent function and this involves a thing called path compression so we will take an integer and first we will check for the base case if dsu of x equal to equal to x we would return x oh no sorry this is arr and now we will check uh, we would return parent of dsu of x. this is arr again sorry and also now i will do the path compression technique so arr of x is equal to so basically we are updating the parent in the node so this is the entire path, path compression technique
and now i would write the birth function i am not implementing uh, union by rank here uh, you can implement by considering the size so i am just writing suppose we have two nodes x and y we need to merge them so we so first of all we would find the parent of both the nodes and after finding the parent we would just dsu of p2 is equal to p1 i am so sorry this would be array yeah uh this can be void as well so uh, the final assignment of the dsu and the changing of all values can be dealt by the path compression in this parent function uh, we need not worry about that so yeah this is the entire dsu code